drops 20 miles up still in the same spot spot flat earth is not as dumb as you thought thought i can prove you're not moving but you're like if they're not not See that. how are you doing well Nice to meet you. I, I would assume you don't believe that it's flat. No, I don't. Good. <laughs> good. Good. You guys can high five and maybe get coffee together. You want to exchange phone numbers? I'll I, I'll make sure that you don't get doxxed. Well, I'm, I'm okay I got, with I got that. A class to go to. Yeah, well, I, I, learn, I gotta get learn home. Stuff yeah. Learn learn that the Earth yeah. is, is round and sphere. Somebody teach me things and not have independent thought of your own. Good job. It's so not, no, just it's real not quick, um, Joe Fetting, um, if you could. <laughs> Very, I don't even understand that reference. Could but. you tell me what two proofs you have that you live on a ball Earth floating on the bending of space-time? Two proofs? Yes, two things that are just verifiable, like any anybody could just do it and then boom, the Earth is a ball. Seasons? So the Earth Seasons? tilts on its uh, axis. Okay, have you ever uh, seen, have you ever verified that first though? It, okay. How have see, you verified the Earth is tilting at 23.4 degrees? Just saying that because I can't see it by myself, just saying that because I learned it from somebody else, that doesn't make me wrong. Well, it kind of makes it like you're kind of in a religion, kind of a cult, if you will. Okay, so I'm a religious, a religious person, all right? I'm Catholic. Okay, yeah, well, Catholics are religious. So, yeah. my religion mm -hmm. is completely... <laughs> Different. My my understanding of my religion and my faith in God mm -hmm. is completely different from my understanding of science and my understanding of what makes science true. Do you love reading the Bible? I I mean, yeah, I read the Bible. I, When's the last time you read the Bible? I don't know. <laughs> A while ago. I don't keep track. Why? Okay. Do you read the Bible as often as you read your science books or like study for stuff here at school? No. Okay, fair enough, right? Um, did you know that there are Bible verses in the Bible that um, convey the earth being fixed and immovable and not moving, built on foundations, pillars, and the firmament? The Bible's not a history. And the firmament? You know what a firmament is in Genesis 1? Please explain. Okay, I mean, it just in layman's terms, it's like a glass ceiling, glass dome, maybe. Okay. Okay, like a hard, solid something that's solid above us that we can't penetrate through okay and then and, and then later on in Genesis 1 I mean you're laughing at the Bible not me no later I, on I, in Genesis I, I'm 1 laughing at your interpretation of the Bible have so, you ever looked into it so I'm Catholic as well so, I can so I'm, I'm talking to this guy real quick okay I'm talking to Joe you can join the conversation talking to Joe but you haven't I'm, I, I had another point though so I just don't feel like it's right to kind of interrupt when I'm trying to finish a sentence Later in Genesis 1, it talks about how he created a greater light for the day and a lesser light for the night. What do you, what's your interpretation of that verse? So, uh, we're, we're speaking about the seven-day creation of, of the earth. Is that what we're talking about? That's a Catholic answer right there. No offense. No. The earth was created. Everything that was in it no, is created that's... in six days, not seven. Okay, okay, six days, sure. God rested on the seventh day, if you want to... Well, I mean, are yes. we, do we yes, read the Bible, correct. or do we do just, like, yes. pull stuff okay, out but of the air? Like gravity. <laughs> this is the problem. So what is your interpretation of that verse? He created a greater light for the day and a lesser light for the night. Just, could you just, you know, shoot out the mouth real quick, your opinion? Okay, so, God created the earth in six days. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily believe that that's our six days. Hmm, that's too six, bad here. Six days of 24 hours. Like six billion years? It could be any frame of time. Six million? I don't, I don't know what God's frame of time is. Mm -hmm. Could it just be literally 24-hour days? Like six literal 24-hour days? Be, but I don't believe that's true. Okay, so can we just kind of get back to like what I'm... Science shows that... Can I just get back to like my question real quick and then we can move on? Yeah, no. Okay, because it just kind of seems like we're tre treading water. I'm trying to answer what? Question, I okay. I don't understand what you're asking. I, well, it's pretty simple. What is your interpretation of this verse in the Bible? He created a greater light for the day and a lesser light for the night. So he created the sun. Okay. And then... So there's a moon. Okay. Right? The sun reflects off the moon and gets us light at night. That's your interpretation? I, I, kind of, I guess. I mean, 
do you want to say that the sun is the light that he's talking about, that the Bible is talking about? Sure. Okay, can I bring in a lifeline real quick? What's your interpretation real quick? And then I'll get to what you have to say. God creating a greater light, light for the day, day and lesser light, light for the night, yeah. That he created the sun to shine during the day and the moon during the night. The moon doesn't emit its own light, but it shines reflects off of the you know, sun's light onto us. Interesting. So you interpret he created a greater light for the day as the sun illuminating its own light, but not the moon illuminating its own light? No. But why do you... Because that's how it works. And so also a lesser light because why? Be stars. Because um, that's what science tells us. So science trumps the Bible? Does the Bible say the moon emits its own light? Well, you just told me that the sun does from that verse. How does the moon obfuscate the well, same... the verse tells us is that there's a light during the day and a lesser light during the night. It doesn't say what emits what. Yeah. Hmm, that's too bad. It's really disappointing to hear that. Right. Um, exactly. So do you have like another proof of the earth? Because you so gave me one. So why is it disappointing to hear that? Because it, it, in my opinion, it clearly states like for the simple-minded, I don't think God complicated his word that the sun emits its own light and the moon emits its own light. It doesn't say that, it just says he created a light for the day and a light for the night. Yeah, so he created a, a, night, a light for the night. So the, the moon emits its own light. It doesn't... Okay. How does that How does that have a reflective surface to it? You, you could also talk about the lesser light as other stars. He didn't say that. That we see. Right? He talked about the firmament, and he talked about that later on. You should probably check out Genesis 1 again just okay. to do a once so over. I'm religious as well, but... Um, going back to science, is that something we can, you know, physically, concretely test? Yeah, yeah, I love are, concretely some, objective science. What are some pieces of evidence that you conclusively say the Earth is flat? Okay, well, I'm still waiting for him to give me two proofs of the Earth as a ball. Um, if, if I went up in a, in a rocket, like, high up, I could look if, down. Yeah. Can we do? Can, is there a way that we could verify we live on a ball here, walking around so, on Earth? So this is the problem. We're like you. You want us to prove everything ourselves. That's right? a problem. Ra rather than taking taking evidence that other people have found and published that we should be taking as true because they're publishing it and it's science and they're not liars. They're not. No, they're not. Really? So back in the 50s when science was telling people that smoking cigarettes was healthy, that's so a, the like, lying? Hadn't, hadn't shown that science has evolved. The but it CDC, showed that they knew the, that, that the smoking cigarettes was unhealthy. The CDC didn't, didn't release their thing about cigarettes being unhealthy until the 60s. No, they released that they knew when they pushed cigarettes that they were unhealthy for people, and they did it anyways. They may have known they were addictive. And they caught cancer. In and the laboratory animals, so well. So what is something you have you have proved that yourself? So well, it's not about me. I don't want it to be about me. I want well, it to be I'm about you guys. You guys are the ones making the claim. You made the claim Where about. The <laughs> you made the claim that. So you, have some... you made the claim about books being like writings being released by people, right? Yeah, like scientific publishings. Yes. Okay, isn't the Bible that very same thing? Isn't the Bible a bunch of books compiled together to make one? Yes. Okay, so yeah. how is that any different? I believe the Bible is was written to teach, um, to teach, it was written by God, or through through God's um, inspiration, inspiration um, written by people on earth. Check out First and Second Timothy. To um, yeah, I, I understand how God inspired the Bible. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And so I believe that God inspired people to write the Bible um, to teach people God's word and to teach people how to be better people. And I think there's a lot of things specifically in the Old Testament that are more, more, to, uh, more, as, more to teach and less to be taken as fact. So how do you interpret whether something's an analogy um, facts, a parable, and so on. Do you feel like you have the Holy Spirit to be able to do that? Well, I was confirmed, so... What does that mean? I, I'm no, a confirmed don't. Catholic, so... That doesn't mean that you just get the Holy Spirit. <laughs> that's, that's what confirmation is. Oh, man, that's... I, I don't have gifts of the Holy Spirit. Mm. I've never talked in tongues. I've never done... 
talking in tongues isn't anything to look forward to. Okay. I, it's not, that's, that's the least of the gifts to have. I, yes, but that's just an example of a gift of the Holy Spirit. Do you Spirit. even know what the, what is the gift of tongues? Do you know? It's speaking in tongues, so it's, um, uh, unfortunately, I don't know if it's a old historical language, or I, I think it's just the language of the Holy Spirit. Um, like jibber-jabber? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not, there's so, I wouldn't some, fall into somebody that. Somebody has to, um, somebody has to also be blessed with the, uh, gift of interpretation, mm -hmm. or something like that, um, because somebody else in the room would be, uh, theoretically, um, if somebody's speaking in tongues, there, sh there would be another person in the room who would be able to translate for them. Hmm. Um, Man. not going to be the one to convince them that they're like no, a, you're right. Like a penny? You're right, but I still want to have constructive conversations. Like, uh, pizza? Hey, Google, uh, round. Tell me how many spherical tables you find. So, um, I, I wouldn't invest in that thought, I, in my opinion, just my experience of, of all that. Um, that is not a proper uh, interpretation of what speaking in tongues is. So what is... Can you explain to me what speaking in tongues is then? Well, in it's Acts, it a, in Acts, it actually like basically states it, and it says these men are speaking our language. So it's as if to go over to like Russia and speak uh, like Russian or like Ukrainian or something like that and share the gospel in their language. It has nothing to do with jibber jabber, that's, Pentecostal that's raising, flopping on the floor. Is, it's not angelic, jibber jabber. Are you a Christian? I am whatever I need to be at the time, and right now I'm somebody who stands here and provokes thought and challenges well, I'm asked, are, mainstream. Are you, are you Christian? I'm a follower of Christ. Oh. So then you should know what speaking in tongues is. I do know what it is, and bo obviously it, it both is. of our interpretations are 180 degree different. So. so so, all of the people throughout history who have ever spoken in tongues... Like who? Name two. Um, a priest at my parish, or a deacon at my parish, sorry, mm. um, has done it. Um, and that, I don't know, there's plenty of other people who speak, have spoken A bunch of Pentecostals. Sure. Yeah, I wouldn't go to uh, the, one of those churches either. Um, but yeah, so plenty of people have spoken in tongues okay. in the past. Sure. And it's not a language that we have on earth. And you're just saying, no, speaking in tongues is being able to go to Korea and speak Korean. You That's would be... not what speaking in tongues is. Well, you would be blessed with that particular, at that particular moment to share the gospel with somebody and it would be an overwhelming experience and it's not jibber jabber running up and down the church aisle flopping on the floor either nobody who speaks in tongues does that oh well, yeah they, they do dude that's different that's not, no that's exactly that's it that's a different gift of the holy spirit that's not tongues that's a different gift of the holy spirit that is not a gift of the holy spirit that's demonic and no I, it's not yeah it is so, All right. so you still haven't given me any well, proof that the Earth is a ball. So good for you. Look at shadows. Shadows. Like the you don't think it? So it's 2019. You don't think we have the technology to find out whether something on here on Earth is measurably flat or not? Yeah, we do, and we can tell it's round. Like a pizza. So why no, is the Earth spherical. go through seasons? What's that? It's no, it's not. How have you verified it's a sphere? I can trust scientific evidence that goes back like 3,000 years. 3,000 years? Yes. Or over that. But you don't trust the Bible, though. So how do you trust, how do you trust that information over the Bible? Because the Bible is a history book. It's a book of morals. That is really unfortunate to hear from two Catholics, but... I didn't say that. Not surprising, I guess. So... Um, so why do we go through seasons on the Earth? Um, the sun is just traveling further away from your perspective. Every day? So can I show you an Im can I show you a projection since you believe you live on a ball Earth in outer space? Yes. Since you haven't been to outer space or anything, what if this is what the Earth does? See the sun there? And, and the sun goes around like a dial, right? Like so possibly. So how do how do days work versus seasons then? Well, time and time zones and all that are a construct. Construct. Of yeah, what? we're the time, ones. Time zones are. Times are I'll times are that. given yeah. the as a time you know time zones and stuff. So. So there you go. That's what. That's where the sun is right now. Yeah. Okay. So. So you were talking about earlier, twenty-three point four degree tilt of the Earth. That's the seasons. Mm -hmm. 
So if you tilt, if you tilt I mean, a marshmallow, in my mouth, you did say that earlier. I didn't. I never. You said about specific degree tilts or anything. You're putting you, words in my mouth. But that's the tilt of the Earth. <laughs> do you not? Do you not concur that the Earth's sure. tilt? Sure. Yes. Is twenty three point four degrees? I don't know what the Earth's tilt is. Why not? I know the Earth tilts. Okay. Why? Because its its name is Eileen. No, the Earth's name is not Eileen. The oh. Earth's name is Earth. <laughs> okay, right on. So how do you know that, though, from outer space? How have you verified that it's tilting? <laughs> See, this is the problem. You you won't accept that. I believe, I understand... You believe, you said it. science has shown this. Science, your, your religion. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Take care, Joe. Science isn't a religion. Got a YouTube religion. channel. You should come by and check it out. It has turned into scientism, yeah. Science a little bit. Is How are we doing, guys? What's up? Well, what? What's up? He thinks space is fake. Pretty good idea, yeah. Why? Why would it be real? science behind space exists thing. Okay. Have you ever verified it? No, have you? Okay, no I haven't. No. So why do you know that it's not real? Okay, do you know what uh, a high pressure system and a low pressure system are? I know what pressure is, is but I don't know. Okay. Specifically. So is, is outer space not defined as a low pressure system? I mean, you're speaking in your terms right now, so you tell me. I mean, you, you should know, you believe this. You should be able to defend the faith in which you have. It's not a faith. <coughs> it is, though. It's not, no, it's not. Does Earth have a pressure? Yes, it does. Okay, what is that pressure? Uh, what is right it measured now, at? Probably 716 millimeters per year. What is the typical, what is the average pressure PSI of Earth at sea level? People, um, you don't measure pressure in PSI if you're talking about climate. 14.6? Sure, if that's one atmosphere. Okay, so if if that's true, okay, how do you have outer space as being a low pressure system next to a high pressure system without a solid barrier? Gravity. Yeah, gravity. And oh, that's just... It's not, it's not a I don't have a real actual logical answer, so we'll just say gravity. That's not real. The theory of gravity is logical. It's a theory. Yeah, that's fucking the highest. So swearing is so swearing is the best thing that you got. Yeah, no, I'm mad at you because you don't understand science. I'm, you're mad at me. Ah, rage quit. You should probably bike away then. If you think a theory is just a theory, it's the best that they've they've come up correct. with, right? Yes. So, but there are other reasons why things are the way that they are. But mainstream science won't produce those facts because they built their entire reality that is right now on the heliocentric model. Outer space is not real. You will never go there. Nobody has ever gone How do there. You know How do you know I'll never go there? You will I never go to outer space and you know land that? on the moon How do you know or that? Mars. How do you know that? I know. Yes. In my Stop, faith, Patty. in my faith, in actual he's a, he's real, good for him. I'd destroy him. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Did you finish high school? What does that have to do? Did I finish my indoctrination <laughs> into the state? Said the knowledge. Did you or did you not? What I did or didn't do isn't the point. Outer space is not real because you can have a low pressure system next to a high pressure system, okay, without a solid barrier. There's a lot of people who didn't graduate high school who are more successful than most people here. Why can't you have a high pressure system next to a low pressure system with no physical barrier? Because they would, one of the two systems would create uh, equilibrium together and then, yeah, they would. No. Yeah, they would. If you build a cube on the ground and sealed it up, inside the cube, is it not the same air pressure as outside the cube? You could have different pressures. Okay, so if we built a cube, sealed it up, sure. and then the same pressure was inside the cube as outside. Sure. Okay. How do you get into the cube? It's sealed? Yeah. Open it. No, it's sealed. You can't. How do you fly through a solid barrier? Okay, you can't. Okay, right. So if we drill a hole into it, put a vacuum into it, and we take out all of the air up to a point where we can, and, and before it starts to collapse in on itself, yeah. 
Okay, and then we seal it up. What is the pressure inside that cube now? Zero. Okay, and what is the pressure on the exterior of that cube? Okay, fair enough, right? So how do you get inside the cube? You can't because there's a physical barrier. Right. And then so if we take off the, if we drill another hole on top of it, what's going to happen? On top of the cube? Yeah, or on the side or whatever. If we drill another hole, the outside air will rush in, right? Correct. Okay, so how come the outer space hasn't rushed into Earth? Because there's no atmosphere in outer space. And so how come our atmosphere hasn't been sucked up at all 360 degrees of a sphere out into outer space? Probably because the gases have different densities. So a solid barrier? No. No? Those solid, those, those, those gases and densities couldn't create a solid barrier? They're gases. They're not solid at all. You just told, you just said. What is the so you just said that. I've got a question. I know. So, so what if whatever it is that you're trying to explain away here, you can't go to the moon because there's a solid barrier above us? What is you can't go to the moon because there's no solid barrier. No, you can't. Why can't you go to the moon? Because outer space is a low pressure system and Earth is a high pressure system. You need a solid barrier to separate the two and you cannot penetrate through either of those to get to either of those. That's, outer space is not real, so. <laughs> where is the moon and where is the sun? Just because you see it on movies and TV doesn't make it real. Just because you read it on the internet doesn't mean space is fake. No, that's science, though. How is it science? I just said, a high pressure system next to a low pressure system cannot exist next to each other without a solid barrier. Right. Pressure gradually decreases. It's not one atmosphere next to, you know, a vacuum. On the top of Mount Everest isn't the same air density as it is where we're standing right yeah, now. Yeah, because there's less water molecules up there. No, there's less water there's vapor. Less, the air is less dense. Okay, so why aren't you floating on top of Mount Everest then? Because what do you gravity. mean? Do you accept gravity or Gravity no? and air density. Do I accept it like I want to yes. marry it or something like that? It seems like you're married to it. Except no, there's more to it. It's so you don't you don't think gravity is real. Those it's on. buoyancy and density and a uh, type of electromagnetism that we live in. What kind of electromagnetism? <laughs> so, well, I would look into that. You know, I'm not your teacher. I'd encourage you to have your own critical thought. Did you get my YouTube channel? I don't watch your YouTube channel. Okay, well, you'll be on YouTube, so you might as well. That's okay. So, do you think like you're better? Do you think you're better than me? No. You don't. I just think you're misinformed. Okay. You're what if you're misinformed? <laughs> what if? Everyone, so, how many flat earthers? I'm just asking, like, what if you're right? misinformed? You, you did. For great claims, you need great evidence. Yeah, to land on the moon the first time flawlessly is a pretty big claim, and nobody's verified that. No I other country. I didn't, I didn't say anything about the moon. Landing. Nobody has. That's a big claim, though. It. I didn't claim it. So, so, the United States did, and you believe that they did it. Who said that? Every other country. You said it earlier on camera. No, I didn't. Okay, well, you can check it out yourself then, maybe All someday. Right. So, so, so you don't believe in like Newtonian gravitation? Like the, what's that, the bending of space time or whatever, or mass attracting mass? Just gravity. Mass attracting mass or bending of space time? Mass attracting mass. Okay. So how, they, how, how has that been verified? You can, you can literally do, we do the calculations every day in our okay. astronomy lab. Okay. So how has that ver been verified again? You can do calculations yourself. Okay. It's applicable anywhere in the universe. So let me ask you again, how have you verified the bending of space-time that Earth is floating on? Me? Yes. I'm 18. I, I have no interest in studying physics. Okay, well, but you believe that you live on a ball in outer space. Yep. Okay. How have you verified that? You just believe what other people say? So you honestly think like the government would never lie to you or mislead you when or did, withhold when information? When did I say that? I'm just asking you a question. Say, I never said I trusted the government at all. Okay. So there's nothing that... What What don't you trust about the government? What don't I trust about government? Yeah. The entire flat earth is lying. There's, there's plenty of things I don't trust about government. Name one. One mm -hmm. thing I don't trust about yeah. government? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I don't 
mocking and ridiculing isn't going to make me leave. So just the heads up. So aliens don't exist. Okay, so. so go ahead. Um, what is one thing that you don't trust the government about? I don't trust the government about. Hmm. Looks like you're just they're you're, they're your daddy. Nope. There's plenty of things I don't trust. They're your daddy. So good for you. I mean, that's I wouldn't you know fall into that line of thinking, but what line of thinking? trusting the government and trust everything. Government. Well, you can't even name one thing that you don't trust that they've done. I mean, there's plenty of conspiracy theories out there that have been proven to be true. Like? Uh, Agent Orange, cigarettes. Okay. Uh, I'm on Operation Fast and Furious. Operation Fast and Furious? What's that? That's Could you inform shitty. me? Uh, it's when the government planted uh, weapons in Mexico and South America, the CIA. And uh, that ended up, we ended up, like, fighting against our own guns. Yeah. Uh, in the... On drugs. Yeah, because they contrived their own wars. Correct. Yeah. So, so that's one thing, sure. So with that being said, why have it? Why has? Do you think that all the governments on Earth are to get working together to hide the idea that outer space is fake? Why? Why would they do that? Why would they plant weapons in another country? To make money. Okay. There you go. So why that's why. They make money off of, uh, NASA makes fifty-six million dollars a day off your tax money alone. Or your parents, or whoever, Spend everybody that parents pays taxes. So, what do you think you could do with fifty-six million dollars a day? Uh, a lot. Probably get some good things, huh? Sure. Okay, if you were in charge, would you um, be a whistleblower, even though you might be risking your life and your family? So, if you knew information that you knew was being withheld. You would go out and say it, and if somebody come up to you and said, hey, you need to stop talking about this or that, otherwise, God forbid, something happens to your family, would you stop or would you continue? Because it's the right thing to do. Uh, I don't know. I'm not interested in this scenario. I know you're not, because you're afraid, and you have friends, and you don't want to be put in that position, because you won't ever be led. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. You guys want water? Maybe not okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah sure thing. Um, but I'm just saying, like, if if that information was available, are you the type of person that looks for that information, or do you just kind of stay in your own little lane and you don't ever really get off path or anything like that? I don't know. Like, what in your life has changed since you came to this conclusion that space is fake? And well, I don't like I don't like lying to people. Like I try to be as honest as I can now. Um, I know that people have a spirit, and I know that my voice goes through the frequency of the ether and the vibration, and I can affect how people think and how I can have intent about this reality. You ever heard of like the hundred monkey um, idea? Never heard of it before. So they're allegedly, you know, take it for what it's worth, right? Um, there was an island, and they went to this island, and they gave um, all these monkeys on the shoreline sweet potatoes. And then they taught these monkeys how to clean these sweet potatoes so they, they could eat them. Okay, and so over a period of time, they one monkey taught another monkey on the island, and so on and so on. So then they all taught each other, and now all the 100 monkeys can clean the sweet potatoes properly. Okay? Well, what they come to find out is that, let's just say, hypothetically, this was in the, I don't know how far distance in between the two islands it was, but let's just say like 20 miles. Between A and B, the monkeys on that island, without being taught, were cleaning the sweet potatoes on their own. So, projection of thought over the, through the ether, kind of like prayer and intent, you know, it can be used as a means of us human beings to communicate with each other without, you know, ver verbalizing it. Okay, don't believe in that. You don't think that we have some kind of... ESP, no. Really? No. You can't prove it. It has been proven, though. How? No, yeah, it hasn't. It hasn't. Yeah, it has been. How? I just, I'm not, again, I'm not here to, like, teach you anything, because I just well, don't think you have a teachable planet. spirit. You don't have a teachable spirit, and I'm not going to... Waste because my time with somebody like you're like the, the four of you. Method. Yeah, the scientific method. So how do you prove you live on a ball in outer space? Because it's been proven. Oh. Look into it. 
Okay, look into it. It's not an argument. If you're going to stand out here, you should have an argument. No, we're just kind of deviating off path a little bit, off of flat earth and fake space. Okay. What evidence do you have that flat Earth exists that you've seen yourself? It's always existed. It's Wait, always been flat. I want to know like what you think so. the solar system looks like, or if you do you believe there's a solar system. Not solar. There's just lights in the sky. How do you verify curvature out of ball Earth? Curvature. Yeah, you keep uh, you guys keep obfuscating the idea that to have a ball you need curvature. Yeah. Eric so Robert how do you? Two thousand years ago. Did he? Yes. You sure? Yeah, oh, I, the records, so I can see oh, the records, and they wouldn't lie. Okay, well, you can do it if you like. like. Have you done it? Nope. Why not? Because I trust it. I have no reason to not do <laughs> it. <laughs> but it came from government. These are the same people that, you know, put guns in other countries. and government? You don't think he's part of anything? Or is he in, totally independent? How do you? Have you ever met him before? No, he's dead. So how do you know who what his agenda was? Just because they write something and then you're taught it, you think that that's the, the whole story? You really? The math yourself. Would you like to do it yourself? Have you ever tried? Why do I have to try? Why do I have to try? <laughs> you're, the, you're the one who doesn't believe it. Well, I know water lays level and flat. That's how you can measure something that's flat. And if the Earth, if we could agree that the Earth is 75% water, how do you get bendy water over a distance? How do you get a sphere? You can you can have you can have tangential lines on a sphere that's big enough that are straight. How big is the Earth? You know, uh, maybe four thousand miles. Yeah, forty thousand kilometers in diameter, or something like that. Got to be really specific. This is math. But you've never tried it, so. How do you know that? Oh, uh, said, Brush Creek. How wide is the flat Earth? <laughs> you uh, what's that? Just how said wide is the flat Earth? Ago, you've never tried how what? How wide? I don't know. It has never been measured, in my opinion. It's twelve thousand. You need exact numbers kilometers for your math? Diameter. What math? You can s observe water not bending over hundreds of miles. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, you can. How many hundreds of miles? How many hundreds? So, well, the human the human eye can only see so much because the horizon. You know what the horizon is, right? It's, like, yeah, like, it's, it's, like that. it's horizontal. Right. That's why they call it the horizon. There's yeah. no curvature from left to right or anything like that. Yeah. So it's the sky meeting with the ground. Correct. So that's perspective. Okay, but you can still have a line. If you're an ant on a big sphere. Oh, here we go with the ant stuff. You know how many times I hear the ant stuff? Well, it's it's important because... No, it's not. Yes, Do you know how many times I hear the ant stuff? It's Just real quick. Because... If I had a shekel for every time I hear the ant stuff, that would mean that you guys are all indoctrinated. Because I hear it from everybody. Okay. That's how strong the indoctrination in this country is. You guys repeat over and over the same right, stuff. You, you guys can, have no critical thought of your you own. You can pick any small organism that you like, but it's important because physics, motion... So you should be able to measure it then, right? Measure what? If you're an ant, just unbelievable. Okay. So if you're an ant, you should be able to measure from point A to point B, and there should be measurable curvature, right? No, not if it's big enough. Well, how big is it? 40,000 in diameter. Okay, something like this maybe? Sure. So, okay, maybe you should take a picture of your curvature ball Earth right. calculator. So there's no measurable curvature. There's no measurable curvature, guys. You need there, curvature. There, there you need curvature to have a ball. No, not on the small And shadows scale. don't do it. Scale. You don't need curvature to be on a ball on the small scale. How, how much, how high or how much curvature or whatever? I don't know, but I... What do you need to have curvature? Well, obviously, I haven't done the math, but like... If you think of a ball, and you're on the ball, you can have a straight line distance without needing curvature. It's called scale. I have a question. Oh man, I just... What are you, eight inches? How do you not agree with that? Eight inches per mile squared. How do you not agree with that? Do you disagree with what I said? You haven't done it yourself, so I can't, well, I, I can't agree with you. Conceptually, do you agree? No, we're not going to play thought experiments. We're going to do objective yeah. science. You know what objective science is? You can do it. Demonstrating it and then doing it and then okay. verifying it. What have right? you demonstrated and verified about flat earth and fake space? I'm just kind of bored with you right now, to be honest with you. What have you? I'm just kind of bored with you right now. Are you running out of ideas? No, I'm just kind of really bored with you. Okay, well, I think there's more teachable spirits that are walking by right now. So, did you guys want a water? I'm kind of over it right now. I think you should go home mm, Eventually. Uh, mm. You're not interested eventually. in talking. In your no, I'm not interested in talking to you. Why? Specifically. Because you're kind of boring. How am I boring? Because you just are.
Can I ask you a question? Sir, yeah, you can. Yeah. Why is the moon a crescent when it's not a full moon? Also, why, right? is, why is there a, a moon? moon. Is why isn't there measurable curvature on your ball Earth, you believe, Elavon? No, we're not going to talk about outer space and the sky and everything. You don't measure the sky to no carpet your floor. So, all right. Yeah. Have fun. Right. Hopefully, nobody confiscates your bag. My insulin. That'd really suck if someone took it. Change your diet. You could uh, cure yourself. Not yeah, you can cure yourself. That's not how it works. <laughs> that is how it works. Change your diet, guys. Yeah. Change your diet. So take care, guys. Hope you guys can bike home safely. I gotta walk, but so yeah, walk away safely. I guess. Yeah. So. So. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. Take care. Take care, Chris. I still want to know. Like, yeah, you want to? I'm sure you do. Right. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel? I do. I want to see it. Yeah, I got a premiere tonight. I went to the Vikings game over the weekend at 8, eight o'clock tonight. Even like other planets or not? Those are just lights in the sky, man. We'll never venture. So do you think it's like a celestial sphere model where they just project lights? Like NASA or no? No, I think those are lights in the sky. I think that they're resonant frequencies in a liquid. Oh, really? Yeah, you should look at uh, YouTube Amazing Resonance Frequency Experiment. Have you ever um, gone to the Science Museum before? Yeah. Uh, there's a, at least back when I went to it, it was a flat, di uh, a flat metal sheet dump some sand on it, violin string, and then you do one of these, right? Yep. And then anywhere you do it, it comes up with a different design on, on, on it, right? Yeah. That's what I think the lights in the sky are. So if those lights in the sky came down and manifested themselves here on Earth, they would, uh, they would manifest themselves out to be whatever frequency that they are. I guess if that makes sense. So. <laughs> yeah. I wish I knew more to like have better arguments. Well, maybe, you know, I'll be around, you know, until it starts snowing out, of course. There's other guys out here with like flatter, are you affiliated with them? No, but I know a guy named, um, kind of, he's darker skin, he had a longer John. Yeah. His name is John, yeah. I knew him a couple years ago, I saw him out back by uh, McDonald's. I actually saw him bike by here um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I think he goes to school here, right? Oh, fair enough. Cool beans. What do you do for a living? I'm just curious. Just YouTube? Yeah. Legal stuff? Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't make it too mad. Maybe. Got connections, right? Have you ever studied, like, astronomy or in the formal setting? I used to be in the outer space so much, man. In the formal setting or informal? Um, kind of both. Yeah, I mean, I, if you go to, like, uh, planetarium, planetariums are the exact same depiction of the sky, are they not? Isn't that kind of weird? So, I mean, it's just something to think about. Like, if we can, in a planetarium, create the sky to look exactly like it does when you come out of the building and look up at the sky, you know, it's just something to think about. What do you think about, like, when scientists can measure, like, parallax when, you know, two different, you know, opposite times of year and they can look at the star and see the difference in the angle and they can tell how far away it is. Math doesn't make it real. Oh. Math just doesn't make it real, man. Just, you know, so... I can't argue with that. Well, <laughs> There's no argument. well, I'm just saying, like, just because you can use math on a piece of paper and say I can land on the moon using maths doesn't mean you can physically go there. You know? You can, you can physically take measurements and see this is at a different point than it is. I know you can. But that doesn't mean that those are physical objects that can be landed on or go to. So why, what's the point of hiding it? What's the point? Do you believe in the... You're special, man. You're really special. Do you believe in the Big Bang? No, you really are. And we're created here by our creator to be special. He's literally watching over us right now. You know? So... To, to the idea of like creating nothing, uh, not, so, uh, something out of nothing and the Big Bang and all that stuff, I just, I wouldn't fall into that line of thinking. That's. Are you a creationist though? I mean, if you want to call it that, yeah, I mean, I believe that there's a creator. How old we can debate about how, you know, who that creator is. How old do you think the Earth is? 
Um, I don't know. I've only been around for 38 years, right? Do you believe in dinosaurs? No. Yeah. Do you know about uh, the dino wars in the 1850s? Yeah. Did you know that there's no full skeletal remains of a dinosaur ever found? I don't know if that's true. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, look into that on your own time if you want. But if, if dinosaurs were real, how come they started coming up and promoting the idea of dinosaurs in the late 1850s, 1800s? Shouldn't that they've been around for like a thousand years prior to that? There's no fossils found before the 1850s. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it didn't become a craze until the late 1850s. That's all I'm saying. I mean, so that's also the time where they were separated because of the bigger things to worry about. about yeah, like whatever. cholera. Well, I mean, we were around, so we don't know. So if you just take everything that history says as gospel, then I can quote the Bible and use that as, you know, a legitimate reference. Can I? Because I wasn't around at Bible times. So my faith, if I have faith in something, right, then that's my faith in that. Now, whether that's true or not, that's up to me, and I'll be judged for that, whether I'm believing in something that's true or false. You know, but if if I if I have become under the understanding living here as long as I have been, that people have a propensity to lie, you know, to deceive, you know, yes. so we stay. Then, um, you know, then I just try to back up a little bit and just say, okay, let me let me get some other alternative viewpoints. Let me get some other people, whether they're right or not. I mean, at least take in somebody else's information. You don't have to believe everything they say. Just take it in and then move on, you know? That's what I do, you know, and that's how I've been able to formulate my op opinions. I mean, is there anything that you guys feel led to stand out, hand out water and share information about that you guys are passionate about? If I stood up and said, the earth is round, prove me wrong, everybody would disagree with me. Right, okay, so fair enough, but that's, not what I ask, and you know that, and I think that you're just continuing to poke and prod at me, and that's not fair. I, mean, I don't think that's nice. You're actually just making fun of the topic. You're not ridiculing me, because I'll be back out here tomorrow. So... <laughs> I can appreciate the But I'm asking again, real quick, and then I'll answer your question. Um, what is there, like, just one thing, like one topic that you feel like you could be led to be like, Hey, students, we might be being misled about such and such topic. Okay, well, fair enough. Do whatever you feel like you got to do. But, you know, you want to make sure that you have at least compelling arguments, right? So, and I think Flat Earth has some pretty good compelling arguments. And, you know, to be honest with you, a lot of people look at um, the Flat Earth idea and they just say, hey, you know what? It might not be flat, but, hey, I'm a globe denialist now, you know? I don't know where we live. But I know that we don't live on a ball floating in outer space. So they're kind of agnostic. So, well, they're agnostic about the whole idea. Specifically, specifically what's wrong with like, the globe theory? Like, what's incorrect about that? That's a good question. The heliocentric model is based on like Roman gods and stuff like that. Like, all your, all your lights in the sky are named after their religion, like Mars and Apollo. The Apollo missions, I mean, do you know what the Apollo is? Greek god of... Greek gods and stuff like that, yeah. Doesn't that make sense, though, because they're the ones who, like, discovered them and documented them first? Well, there's more to it than that, you know. Like what? Well, that's their religion. They're perpetuating their religion onto you guys. Yeah, right? I don't know. Isn't that... What do you think? I, I just think that they're... They hate the true creator personally and I think that they're well, trying to pagans, right? yeah most of them are but they believe in Lucifer Lucifer is the the light bringer to them you know how do you figure that because that's that's what, or what um just the spirituality aspect of that okay, you know yeah is it just because they reject Christ or is it because they that's okay. a big thing okay. yeah Fair enough. For them, you know, where I where I get my faith from and my spirituality, you know, that's separate from what I feel they kind of run with. So, do you believe people who reject Christ go to hell? 
uh, it's always a choice, right? And I don't know what happens to people when they die. So people who were born in like a different geographical location, they were just never exposed to Christ. Yeah, fair enough. Good question. I think that they're judged on whatever knowledge it is that they have at the time when they die. I mean, I'm not their judge, so I can't say whether they go someplace or not. I'm not perfect, yeah. you know. So who am I? <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean, seriously, like, who am I to say whether somebody should get into some place or not, you know? So, but uh, I get contributions from people, like Patreon, Patreon, PayPal. Yeah, you know why I started doing that? Why? Because people ask me. I started. I, I know. So I, are legit family. you know, people said, "Hey, I want to help you out financially. How can I donate?" And they asked me, they, you know, yeah, so they, they they directed me. So, I mean, it costs money to get out here, you know. I like to eat, you know. So, that's all. I break even every month. I don't make money off of doing this. I literally break even. Is this, is this like your main focus right now? Um, I put a lot of my intent and thought into this, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And then in the wintertime? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I probably quit like sometime, usually in like November or something like that, you know, late October. Do you have like a five year plan of what you want to do? Or? No, just, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. I looked at the beginning of the, of the week and it said after Monday it was going to rain the rest of the week. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know? So, I mean, now look at it. Yeah. You know, it's pretty decent. Fair enough. Yeah. So you just got to roll with what the day gives you. You can't really. You can be prudent with the time and money that you have to provide for you the next day, you know, but you shouldn't completely invest everything in five years, you know, but you should be mindful and not irresponsible. Thanks, fellas. Well, if you want a water, have at it. Otherwise... I'll snag one. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Hope to maybe see you again. Maybe you'll... Joshua. Josh. Yeah. Chris. Chris. Yeah, take care, guys. Yeah, you too, guys. I not agree on everything, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> right? So, yeah, take care. Yeah, you too. Peace. Authenticate every time. Peace. Well, that conversation ended at about 4.20 here in late September, day of our Lord, 2019, allegedly. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out for the duration. I'm going to hang out for a little bit. Looks like there's still some foot traffic back and forth. We'll see what we can muster up. Stir together. But, you know, you do it for an hour or two, non-stop, it kind of catches up to you.